to now notice when she was in the city, groovy, groovy. Me and Google will be sleeping, she'll come out with groovy. Uh-uh. Why? Okay, there was a day she was calling everybody to the lounge. She called Rachel, called Cheesy, she called Groovy. She did not call me. <laughs> why why are you always looking for Groovy? <laughs> Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now, this morning, I'm going to bring you a series of things that I've noticed from yesterday's Sunday Live Eviction Show to this very particular point. And I need you to follow me from the beginning of this video to the end of this video. It's quite expository. All right. So yesterday, we saw the Sunday Live Eviction Show and we saw the fact that Groovy, Sheds and Hermes were evicted from the show. All right. And one thing that, you know, struck my, that caught my attention rather struck me was the fact that the the live the Sunday Life audience booed Shags when he was coming on stage. Hence the energy he gave when he was you know responding to the question that Ipka was asking him from the point he was evicted. Right, you could literally see the jubilation of the Sunday Life eviction show from the screens. It was somebody who was smart, you know, looking at the audience behind Ibuka when he said Shags have been evicted. You could literally see these people jubilating as if you know somebody scored a goal. Right. And then when it was coming on stage, right, we saw a particular footage, right, uh, a BTS behind the scene footage, where it was coming and people were like booing him, ooh, and I'm like, oh, wow. <laughs> now, that's been said. Remember the last week, two people were evicted. If three people were evicted, Shex would have got home. Now, Shex had a, uh, about 18 point something percent last week, but this week he had 13 point something percent. And then we saw the fact that Bella, Adekule, and of course Brian shared 57 percent because combining the whole percentage of Groovy, Hermes, and you know, Shex yesterday it was about some 40 something percent, 42, 43 percent. And here we see the fact that three people, Adekule, Bella, and of course Brian, shared a whole 57 percent out of 100 percent. What does this tell you? This tells you that this game, looking at the fact that Shex was like top list when it came to, you know, um, evictions last week and this week he was like the least voted guy. It's clear cut that we do not have a very clear winner. Why do I say that, right? I know a lot of people are clamoring for, you know, Fina to win the show, but something dynamic, there was a dynamic twist last night, right? I began to look at the fact that a lot of people are beginning to say a whole lot of things about Fina, right? Now, I'm going to give you the story. Now, remember that there was a dynamic, there was a supreme veto power play that happened last week, on Monday, during the final, you know, head of house challenge. And then Big Brother gave Chi Chi, Chi Chi, you know, by virtue of winning the head of house, right, had the supreme veto power advantage to choose two people to get straight into the finals. Now, remember, Big Brother told Chi Chi and told the housemate that nobody should discuss anything that has to do with the veto power, the supreme veto power save with the head of house chichi and then they should all go get ready for their pitches now we saw fina i don't i don't know why this video was overlooked because big brother said that nobody should discuss with the head of house now prior to the time the house were going to pitch to chichi the head of house we saw the fact that fina was now engaging in a conversation not a direct conversation it was a coded one right saying that you know chichi should not pick hermes who chichi wanted to pick who was an ideal you know um, candidate to go straight into the finals because Chichi already knew she was going to pick Fina. The other person that Chichi wanted to pick was Hermes. You understand what I'm saying? Now, this is a game, I understand it, but a lot of fans are not seeing it that way. And that's why I'm bringing you this, this whole um, new twist that's happening, this whole ton of events that's happening, especially on social media. So we see the fact that Fina discussed with Chichi, telling Chichi not to pick her ideal candidate, that she should pick somebody else. Hence, influencing, stylishly influencing the decision of Chichi to choose Daniela. Because if Daniela was not saved to go into the finals last week, Monday, right? Daniela would have replaced Hermes. Hermes had the highest votes, according to the polls yesterday. It was Shex with the lowest, Groovy in the middle, of course, Hermes. So if Daniela was not saved, Hermes would have been saved, would have been in the place of Daniela while we had Daniela go home. Understand what I'm saying? 
Mm. You know my colleagues is this stuff. And the second one, they could maybe do my thing come. Because of who could not go to the side. You see that's where that was. Now, Hermes has been evicted. And we now saw the fact that Hermes posted, like his handler on you on social media, on Instagram, posted his picture saying thank you to everybody who supported Hermes. Guess what? Fina's handler, the person handling Fina's account, unusual Fina, went on that page and commented. And then the fans came for her. Now, a lot of people came that, what are you doing here? We saw the fact that you're the one who caused Hermes' downfall on the show, that you're the one who influenced the fact that Chichi should not pick Hermes. Like, literally, people were dragging Fina on that handle. Now, you can literally see a lot of people coming out and oh, I'm not going to vote for this person. They won't want to come and vote for Fina because Fina did this, Fina did that to Hermes, right? And, of course, these fans are angry. Now, I want to ask, was it right that Big Brother overlooked that part, right, of Fina having a coded conversation with Chichi you know, um, in not picking Hermes into the finals? Or do you also think that, you know, Chi Chi did not have a mind of her own? Here's the reason why she, you know, it felt like Fina influenced her. Or do you think that Chi Chi just intentionally did not pick Hermes? Let me know in the comment section. Moving on to my next guest, right? We see the fact that after the eviction yesterday, we saw Bella, Chi Chi, and of course Fina having a conversation. All right? Now, during that conversation, right, we saw the fact that Bella brought up something that Chi Chi said about talking about her dancing in some particular type of way. So what Chichi was saying was this, you were insinuating that I was dancing in some particular type of way, um, you know, insinuating that I'm a stripper and that she did not like it. And Bella was like, no, 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 no. That wasn't what I meant. I mean, why would I come for you? Why would I come and say and address the job you're doing? Why would I come and address the job you're doing in a bad light? You know, she's talking to me all of a sudden you go, I'm consulting based on, I know where I'm coming from. What kind of nonsense talk is that? Wow. Please don't bring any questions to my table anymore. I can ask me a question, that's it. No, I'm not interested. I'm very interested in because you responded. Now, after the conversation between Bella and Chichi, we saw the fact that Chichi left the place and then it was remaining Fina and Bella. Now, Fina now started talking about the fact that she does not even trust Chichi. She probably doesn't even see Chichi as a very good friend. That there was a time that Chichi was coming. You know, coming for what's his name for Groovy, who's a who was like her boyfriend in the house, and that she did not like it. That there were some moves that Chichi was making, there was some vibe Chichi was giving to Groovy, her boyfriend in the house, insinuating the fact that you know Chichi was going to take Groovy from her, or Chichi wanted to have something, you know, a, 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 have a romantic affiliation with Groovy. Why? Okay, there was a day she was calling everybody to the lounge. She called Rachel, called Cheesy, she called Groovy. She did not call me. Mm -hmm. Why why are you always looking for Groovy? <laughs> Now, what I'm going to say is there will be a lot of dynamics that will play out, right? In this final week of this Big Brother 90 season 7, I had a conversation with someone yesterday, right? One of the um, subscribers here who always comes on the YouTube live. And just so you know, tonight I'm going to be live on YouTube for 7 o'clock. So a lot of people should come join from wherever you're watching from different parts of the world. Please join me tonight, right, on the conversation, right? I'm going to have a conversation with you all, and we're going to get to talk about everything that's happened on the show. And we're also going to talk about the whole dynamics that will play out in this final week where the winner will be decided by you all. So now one thing you should know is this. The lesser the number of housemates in the house, the more bigger another person's fan base is, right? Now, I am wondering, why did Fina's fan base not vote to say Groovy? In the conversation I had with this person, the person said that, see, the reason why Phoenix families will not vote for Groovy and they voted for Adekunle, according to her, is the fact that they do not want to split the votes in the finals. You know that if Groovy makes it to the finals, right, there will be um, the thinking of people trying to split votes, you know, and the whole vote will not go to Fina. Hence the reason why Fina's fans voted for Adekunle to stay on the show, so that in the final, there will be no emotional, um, you know, thing that, you know, will make people try to vote for, for Groovy and for Fina. So the reason why they did not vote for Groovy and check Groovy out is so that the whole votes, right, will go to Fina during the finals. Now, this is not what I said. This is what this person said, right? And I want you to, I want to know what you think in the comment section, right? This is not my opinion. This is the opinion of one of you, right? When I had a conversation with a person. So the person gave me two points. And of course, I need you guys to prepare your points so that when we have the YouTube live, you're going to come on the screens and going to tell me what you think. That Beauty's fans will vote for Brian, right? 
because you've seen over time where Brian has supported beauty, even in conversations in the house, right? And that some beauty fans also want to vote for Bella, you know, because they want a female winner to emerge. But also remember that Bella has said a few things about beauty in the past that may not be palatable to the hearings of the beauty fans, right? But of course, most beauty fans will go and vote for Brian. Now, one thing you should know is this, looking at the fact that Fina had a conversation with Chichi as not to pick her ideal candidate, her ideal housemate, who was Hermes, to move him in, to the finals, right? Hermes's fans will not vote for Fina, according to this person, and that the fans of Hermes will rather go vote for Brian. I'm going to stop here for now, and I'm going to bring you another video, right, detailing some other things that have come out, okay? So please go to the comment section and let me know what you think. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Please, if you're not subscribed to my channel, just hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, and guess what? You'll get notified whenever I post a video. Go on all social media platforms on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter, and of course on TikTok and follow me at the Femi Daniel. And until next time, I come here again very soon. It's bye for now.